Minnesotans with an average age of 65 just returned from the jungles of Papua New Guinea, located north of Australia. The mission had two objectives, return alive and locate as many American World War II missing in actions as possible in the remote jungles of the lost. The MIA hunters explored the island's north coast in locally chartered banana boats to their base camp at a remote coastal village inhabited by a tribe of former headhunters who had never previously encountered white people. While traveling through the bush towards their base camp destination on the coast of New Guinea, the MIA hunters were led by locals up a treacherous hillside dirt road to a place with a dark secret lost in time since the end of World War II. Here they were told about and visited a long-lost secret Japanese killing field where it was reported that dozens or even hundreds of American and Australian MIAs were executed and thrown into mass burial ditches over 64 years ago. Today, the site appears peaceful, now covered by a Lutheran dormitory. All the time, soldier comes up and I will say, kiss him, an American soldier, Australian soldier. When I say, bring him my hand, I'm wrong. Now, when he pass him, I go on a laptop. I will say, bring him a little press, but I will cut him neck no more. I will say, cut him neck no more, yeah, all the good. The MIA hunters erected a flag on the site in remembrance of those who lost their lives here and recorded GPS settings which will be reported to the U.S. military who will be tasked with the recovery of the bodies and the forensic analysis. The tropical New Guinea jungle is filled with wild and endless variation. Exotic plants abound. Trees filled with black fruit bats form a canopy overhead. Insects constantly move underfoot. This is one of the last truly remote and uncivilized places left on planet Earth. As we made our way from village to village down the coast, we were often greeted by smiling, inquisitive children, many of whom had never seen a white face before. The children followed us as we made our way into their villages to meet with their elders. We were then led deep into the surrounding jungle, only to discover the lost dragons of war quietly rusting into oblivion. In all, five American bombers, those great aluminum birds of prey from another time, were found sleeping in their final resting places. Nearby was found the human remains of those brave souls who crewed those majestic marvels. Dear God, this is a prayer for fallen angels who have been lost to the world, but who were never lost to you. May their families and loved ones find comfort in knowing they are found and they are now coming home. Amen. There are 68,000 MIAs from World War II. The MIA Hunter's mission seeks to find each and every one missing. Here in this desolate island village, a place that appears on no maps, has no roads to it, there is little of value here by normal standards, yet for the MIA hunters, this is a place of great wealth. Informed of the visit by one of the advanced scouts, the village of former headhunters puts on a show in traditional costume designed to honor our arrival and celebrate the lives of those heroes who lost their lives so many years ago. Ultimately, the treasure that is laid here lost so many years is revealed to us. Here, collected by the local villagers, over the years are 35 U.S. dog tags, each suspected to be MIA and each left here in the jungle for over six decades. From these dog tags, we can begin the arduous task of research and piece together the life and the death of those who may be resting here. As the villagers dance to celebrate the lives of those who once wore these dog tags, we are reminded of the reason for our journey here in this remote place. The jungle does not give up its secrets, 
either willingly or easily, especially after more than six decades. Let us do whatever it takes. Let us go wherever we must and let us never rest until they are all found. Ten Minnesotans with an average age of 65 just returned from the jungles of Papua New Guinea, located north of Australia. The mission had two objectives, return alive and locate as many American World War II missing in actions as possible in the remote jungles of the lost. The MIA hunters explored the island's north coast in locally chartered banana boats to their base camp at a remote coastal village inhabited by a tribe of former headhunters who had never previously encountered white people. While traveling through the bush towards their base camp destination on the coast of New Guinea, the MIA hunters were led by locals up a treacherous hillside dirt road to a place with a dark secret lost in time since the end of World War II. Here they were told about and visited a long-lost secret Japanese killing field where it was reported